Dion and Jennifer Longworth killed in the Southside explosion. Two and a half years later, they become the focus of testimony in the murder trial of Mark Leonard. And this testimony today was hard to hear. The firefighter who last saw Dion Longworth alive and the parents of Dion and his wife Jennifer taking the stand. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyke joins us live from South Bend with the accounts in court of those last fateful moments. Rich. Anne Marie, today jurors heard precisely how Jennifer and Dion Longworth were killed. According to a forensic pathologist testifying, Jennifer died of sheer blast force, a force big enough to cause her almost sudden death. Dion Longworth died a different way. He was killed by carbon monoxide poisoning, the result of breathing superheated air in soot. Jurors and families heard another story in court today, that of two firefighters who were close enough to reach out and touch Dion Longworth, but not save him. Outside of court, the parents and other family members of Dion and Jennifer Longworth hugged and quietly thanked the firefighters who risked their lives trying to save the young couple. Private Richard Shriven took the witness stand, recalling that night in November 2012. His was the second fire truck to arrive in the Richmond Hill subdivision. It looked like a movie scene. It was total destruction, he testified. Waiting residents immediately told firefighters someone was trapped in the burning home next to the explosion. Before Shriven could see Dion Longworth, he heard him yelling from the basement. It's so hot. It's so hot. Please get me out. The firefighter explained the house had collapsed, trapping Longworth with two floors and a roof on top of him. Shriven reached through a small hole, just slightly bigger than his arm, touching Dion, but unable to pull him three. We were hand in hand, arm in arm. He knew what was going to happen, he said. The flames forced Shriven to back off. A hose and water finally arrived, but by that time, the area he was in was a ball of flame. He was gone, Shriven said. The mothers of both Dion and Jennifer testified briefly. They identified pictures of their children for jurors and how they learned of the explosion. A daughter called Elaine Scorchia, telling her to come to Indianapolis. On the way, she got another call, telling her of her son's death. John Longworth called Jennifer's parents. Nancy Buxton says they watched TV to see what was happening. Later that morning, they helped authorities identify their child. This trial, expected to last four to six weeks, is actually moving faster than many people had expected. It is now, according to the judge, a full day ahead of schedule. Today's part of the trial went by so quickly, the trial had to be recessed while everyone waited for uh, witnesses to arrive from Indianapolis and offer up their testimony. Everyone's back in court tomorrow morning at 9.30. Reporting live from South Bend, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.